funny faces so you don't cry. I'm not y'all be able to read it, but I will try. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Dear Liana, in some ways I can't believe this day is already here, and others I can't believe it hasn't happened yet. We have been together for so long, and I have so many good memories with you. So many late nights, road trips, laughs, cries, classes. We've been through it all together. Everything we have faced, we have faced as a team. We work through everything together. Just a few short years ago, we drew memories on a broken door. I can't imagine what that door would look like if we were to do that now. I am so happy to have met you, and even as stupid as I was back then, I knew there was something special about you. As I sit here writing and thinking, I am realizing that I have been focusing on our past, but what I should be focusing on is our future. We are going to have such an amazing life together. I am so happy that I have you. I am really looking forward to traveling, working, raising kids, and even growing all together. We've already done so much, the two of us, from getting our driver's license <laughs> <laughs> to graduating from college. <laughs> As I have been saying for months now, I am so ready to finally start life together, the two of us. We have spent the past seven years together, but today we finally get to start living our lives together. Today we become a family, you, me, and the budgies. <laughs> <laughs> I love you so much. See you in just a little bit. Love you. P.S. I don't even have to look at you to know you look stunning right now. Love you so much. Wow. <laughs> one for the frame. That's a good one. He did that. That's okay. an amazing letter, hon. Huh? <laughs> I wrote him. <laughs> Ian, I can't believe that after seven years I finally get to marry the man I call the love of my life and my best friend. We have grown together so much over years together, and I can't wait to see how we continue to learn and grow together as a married couple. You have given me such a precious gift by choosing to be my best friend and loving me unconditionally. Thank you for teaching me what true love looks like through loving me so well. Thank you for laughing with me, crying with me, drying my tears, and supporting me in fulfilling my dreams. You have loved me so much deeper than I could ever love myself. You love me with the most beautiful form of Christ, like love. As I'm writing this, things feel so crazy with all the chaos leading up to the wedding. I want to thank you for consistently reminding me that none of these silly little details matter. In a few moments after you read this, I'll walk down the aisle, be given away from a man that used to, and probably still does, scare you and commit my life to you and all that I am loving and cherishing you forever and always. You are giving me the greatest honor to, to get to call you, call myself your wife. Thank you for choosing me. I can't wait to take on this life with you, with your hand in mine. I love you so much. I can't wait to see you at the Arbor. All my love, Leah. It's not about how perfect we can make Left to do. I think we're there. I've got all my boxes checked. Before family and friends, by the authority vested in me as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ and by the state of California, I now pronounce you to be husband and wife. Ian, you may kiss your wife. All right, now face the audience, face the audience. 
It is with great joy that I introduce you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Ian and Leanna Bullard. For Dad, a uh, bit of a roller coaster, you know, ride today. Um, a lot of different kind of emotions. Um, but what, what occurred to me during the wedding is how, how blessed I am. When I, oh, geez. when I looked up there, not one beautiful bride daughter, but another one and a son. You know, th three of my, all three of my kids are up there in the wedding party. And so sitting there at, at, the, at the wedding and, and looking at them all, you know, and sitting next to Brenda, you know, I just felt like, you know, I really, really am fortunate and really blessed. One of the things that Ian wanted to do after he got back was he, he had been attending high school in a different part of uh, Santa Cruz at a charter school that was, you know, supposed to be great and, and uh, was going to set him up for college and all of this. And his mom and I were kind of enamored by that at the time. And he came back and he said, I don't, I don't want to go to school there anymore. And uh, I think he said, I don't like who I am when I'm there. And so he, he had it all thought out and he was going to take all the hardest classes at Scotts Valley High School. And, you know, he, he gave me the whole story on why this was a good decision. Uh, but what he didn't tell me was that there was a girl involved. <laughs> and he probably knew, okay, I'm 15 years old. My dad is kind of logical about these things. So, um, that one's not going to fly. Uh, so I don't think it was just that he didn't like who he, uh, who he was when he was at this other school. It was who he wasn't with when he was at this other school. I've known Leanna for going on 11 years now. We met in English class. Um, I think one of my first memories was writing poems about a clock. That's how we met. <laughs> poems about a clock in English class. At least we were learning how to write poems, right? We were doing something. So after that, we were pretty just best friends. Um, and then we had about a year and a half. And then Ian came. <laughs> You guys uh, know Ian in my past, but didn't really like him <laughs> for a long time. But we've made some progress. It was okay, I guess. <laughs> um, but in all honesty, looking at you two, you inspire me. You make me know what love should be at our age, even though you guys met a long time ago. So you had a long time to develop your relationship and have like a good understanding of each other and all that fun stuff. Um, I don't really have a lot of advice for you because you've made it this long and so you must be doing something, right? <laughs> uh, the only thing is congratulations. I love both of you. Yes, you Ian, you included. Um, and I just can't wait to see where life brings you guys. I'm really lucky to have this kind of role model for me because as I move on in my life, I know what I'm looking for now because I know what perfect is. And it's just, it's a good thing to know because it'll guide me through my future and I'll always have them to look up to when I need help. Might live in their tree fort, I don't know. <laughs> uh, we're still deciding that. We're still figuring out the logistics. Right? <laughs>